Hey, lighting team, this is Brayton. Uh, just let me take a couple minutes. Today is March 28th, and I'm going to talk about a couple things going on with this lighting board so um, we can all be on the same page. Um, first of all, we cleaned up uh, the labels and what's uh, going on so there's no more confusing empty spots or, or things that don't really pertain to what's going on anymore. So um, let's uh, start at the beginning here. We have roller A and we have uh, roller B. Roller B is simpler um, for the kind of on-the-fly moments and for prayer on Wednesday nights because uh, it doesn't require much finessing. Roller A is what I'd love everybody to operate on and to know how to use and to really have fun with. So let's start here on the, all the way to our right side. First slider, as always, 0 to 10 is your house lights. Next, we have our preach lights. So 0 to 10 is going to fill the whole stage. Now, this is already a preset value, um, so keep it uh, at 10 because it's going to it's preset for our cameras so we're not overexposed and we're hitting all the right spots um, next we have our fill and stage um, so fill is going to be uh, all those fill lights that are going to hit the um, talent the people more in the, the face more in the front and then our stage lights are uh, more in the center and um, they're going to hit more of the center vocalists and things like that. Now, I would love for you to use these two during worship to really set the mood and to fill in the spots that need to be filled. So that way, you know, because we don't need all that light casting on our background that we get with the preach. Um, that's unnecessary, and it's 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 uh, kind of washing our background out. So have fun with this, the fill in the stage. You now, there's not any, I don't have any set values that I'd say like, Put it at this, at the song one, put it at this, the song two. You're really just going to have to have fun and um, go with the flow with the, the music and the atmosphere and what's going on. Um, so have fun with it. Next, we have our backlights, which um, I love the mood that these make, especially especially when, uh, you know, maybe your your front lights, your fills are a little lower and you just got this nice glow on the back of uh, um, the shoulders of the band. Uh, that's a personal preference. So you have your backlights. Next, there's this slider for Easter. Um, so, pretty self-explanatory. That's going to be here for Easter, and it'll be gone after Easter. Uh, there's a special cardboard testimony going on. Now we have two blank spots here. Those are eventually going to be for our LED backlights, but um, we don't have those yet. Next, you're going to see LED. So, here's your LED. Um, a lot of you have been trained on this, but let me go over it one more time. So, you raise your LED up to 100%. Up here, you're going to select... Um, source one through six those are our, our, our LEDs one you hold click and hold one and hit six now you see they're all highlighted so now you have every LED selected so the board can control them specifically um, and what you have here in your palettes these gray buttons those are different colors and they're all labeled here um, from your dark blues light blue turquoise blue green you know it just kind of goes up and up and up, up. So instead of labeling a bunch of three or four different colors down here, there's 20 colors up here to have a lot more fun with and to match um, the background. But real quick, so um, let's see here, I'm on orange, and I want to go to dark blue. But I don't want to do that in the middle of service, right? That's going to be very distracting. Well, what we do over here is you just hit a number on this number pad. Let's just say five for five seconds. So I hit five, and then I hit my dark blue. Now it's going to take five seconds to transition to the next color pretty awesome, pretty easy. Um, you can really have fun with the mood and setting the atmosphere and the environment in this room with that. I mean, I would encourage going up to, you know, 20 and doing this nice long 20 second fade to where you don't want to distract the crowd. You don't want to know, want them to know that, oh, they just switched songs, you know, because the lights just moved and, and changed suddenly. Um, so that's why, I, that's why I think about that. So that's your LEDs. You understand your, your stage lights, and your front lights, and your house lights. Um, this last part, let's take our LEDs down. We have a chase. So turn this up. It starts chasing through these colors. Yes, that's really fast. Um, for some reason, the board, you can't just preset what you want the speed to, de to be. It defaults to one second per color. Well, we don't like that. So um, what you do is... Um, go ahead and clear out of that uh, LED situation we were just in. And then you take this uh, take this back up. Okay, sorry. Now it's here. It says one second. 
down here. Um, you start spinning this knob, and you can take this up to as many seconds as you want it to be. Uh, let's take it to 20. No, that's a 16. There's 20. So now it's going to take 20 seconds to um, go from color to color, which is a nice, slow fade. Now, when are you going to use the chase? What would be great to use is any in-betweens of service. The pre-service, the after 9.30 to 11.15 service. Um, it's just a fun, nice touch to kind of build this anticipation, this atmosphere of, uh, you know, of of what's going to come, what's to come. Um, so that's it uh, for this tutorial. Last thing, you know, if you get a, the B, same situation, you have the chase. The chase has to be the first one you put up for this seconds to pop up here. Um, if I put LED blue up and start messing with the selecting them and all that kind of stuff, and then I put the chase up, it doesn't give me the option to um, change the seconds. You have to actually clear exit out of that and then use your chase. Now you have the seconds again. So, stage and house. So that's roller B, roller A. And that's it on this board. Um, if you got that down, you're a rock star. And I um, really appreciate uh, taking the time to learn that and to know how to craft the, what, what you're doing with the lights and setting the right environment and atmosphere for salvation to happen, for worship to happen. Um, and then to not be a distraction. That's our ultimate goal is to create an atmosphere for people to receive Christ and um, to not distract from that. So thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing you this weekend.